Good morning, everybody. This is Nick from Arcade Hunters, and this is a third floor walkthrough of the new American Classic Arcade Museum here at Fun Spot. As you can see on the floor, they have added in some brand new carpets, some brand new floors, new coat of paint, and this is the current lineup for Friday. Here is the Exidy Gun Games. They have Crossbow, Cheyenne, and of course, the Evils of the Chiller. Here's a new one that uh, I'm pretty sure was just put out. This game's called Crash. Looks like the one that I used to play on Atari as a kid. Of course, we have the Death Race with the six side art that you may know. I'm going to spin around over here and show off the cocktail tables. Here, once again, is Stratavox, one of the very first games with a digital voice over. We have Data East. This is Shootout. This is a new one that they've just put in recently. This is from Bally Midway. This is Space Zap. This game is a lot of fun where you use a uh, this is your fire button and you aim your uh, laser tower it's actually a really cool game I've never seen it let alone the cocktail they also have the stand-up version and here's LSA squad land sea and air from Tato from 1986 so turn around now you will see right here obviously the uh, wall is gone so They've actually gotten rid of the golf simulators that they used to have here, and they've just expanded it. So, as you've seen before, that is the tournament row, and there is the versus Uni system, the Nintendo system, and yes, Hogan's Alley is an arcade game with also Duck Hunt. Now, they've put more, some of the games from over here, so we'll show them. These are pretty much games that you've seen. Double Dragon 2, Crowns Golf, Capcom Bowling, Champion Baseball, Here's Guided Missile, Crowns Golf Hawaii. There's Upscope from Grand Productions. This is their only game they've ever made, and this is running on a Commodore Amiga 500, if you can see in there. It's actually a pretty good game. Of course, the Atari Tetris. Big ups to Mr. Pajanov. Speed Buggy, Lock On, Capcom's Forgotten Worlds. Shout out to The Empire. Kung Fu Master, Gunfight sadly is not working and Sega's Bang Panic, which was yesterday's mystery game. So we'll spin around here and show you. This is Facts. This is a quiz game, and I've been coming here since 2007. This is the very first time I've ever seen this game working, so I can't wait to uh, give it a try. It looks like a lot of fun. I didn't even know the game was in color. So here's Atari's Night Driver. These cabinets are very hard to find, but also, as you can see, very hard to maintain, so it pretty much worked the uh, one day a few years ago. There's Monaco GP, Buck Rogers, Planet Zoom, the Atari sit-down cabinet of Road Blasters that you're never going to get a good video of because you have to actually sit in it. Here is Red Baron that unfortunately does not work. I didn't think they had this out yesterday. Here's uh, Sega's Turbo. Shoutouts to Ito from Retro TV. Atari Stun Runner. Spy Hunter. Here is Choplifter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy Taxi. They brought the Afterburner from upstairs, from downstairs, upstairs. See? This is the new display cabinet. Some of all the goodies in it. There's a Simon. I actually got my Simon signed by Mr. Ralph Bear. There's two Simons. Three Simons. And yes, computer space lives. One of the very first games blew people's minds. Look at that. Very nice. And here's a nice universal row. We've got Ladybug. We've got Cosmic Alien. Cheeky Mouse. And the Cheeky Mouse, I must show off the cheeks. There you go. That's for all the fellas out there. Cosmic Avenger. I hate this game. Nova 2001. A lot of fun. Mr. Do. And uh, Mr. Do's Wild Ride that they added in last year. Very uncommon. Hard to find. And big ups to all the former people that worked at Midway. Smash TV, one of the best. Um, I'm going to try to get a CP new uh, overlay for that. Now let's spin around. We'll show you some of the... Here is a game called Head On from Sega, or Gremlin, as they were called at the time. We get the name of this game that I... looks very similar to the one I used to play on Atari as a kid, where you just kind of had to move around with the paddle. It's Depth Charge, of course. Carnival. Frogger, Astro Fighter, you can hear it, there's Russian Attack, or as I like to call it, Gank and Shank, Stalker, 
And the original is Pong. Very nice. Let's head on over. Show some more goodies. Most of the stuff is pretty much the same. A lot of the pinball is working. Mm, Xenon. It's Pong doubles. This is I am Xenon. Play me. Fireball 2. Yes. Matahari. Now it's pretty much the pinball row. Most of the they have gotten uh have done less of it. But we'll see. Guess that um Star Wars is is on, it's just very, very dim, you're not gonna be able to see that. Battle zone works. Asteroids deluxe. Regular. Yes, there we go, asteroids. Looking very, very nice. The guys here have been uh, putting in a lot of effort. There's not that many games uh, broken down. Major Havoc. Space Duel running on the uh, LCD monitors. This looks really nice, this conversion. So if any of you guys out there have a old vector graphics monitor, definitely look up the uh, little conversions that they've done. Quantum Works. I'm talking to Mark Alpager. I think there's only uh, 500 of these games were ever made before they ended up pulling it. And also, shout out to Mark Alpager. Of course, we have the Crystal Castles next to the Marble Madness. And Indiana Jones Temple of Doom. And Double Dweeble. Xevious, final lap. Shout outs, Rolling Thunder. Dragon Spirit from Namco. Fortunately, it's on an Atari joystick. You got a lot better scores. Got another joystick. And of course, the old nose eye buds. 720. Here's uh, some of the other stuff over here. Seawolf 2. That's really cool. I didn't even saw this one. Yes. Yeah. Twin Cobra's not working, unfortunately. Yes, Kari Warriors. EPB. Um, Scott just put this in. Uh, this is SCI, the sequel to Chase Headquarters. Really, really good game. I have not played this in years. Chase HQ, Super Hang On, Hard Driving. We've got our Yu Suzuki's, we got Hang On, and we got Space Harrier all the way down there. I hate Dark Adventure. Kangaroo, Millipede, I just tripped on the Outrun. Afterburner. Aw, oh, stuff, let me see if I can get some of the Tidal Row. I'm gonna go through a little bit faster. Sorry for the time on this, but you know what you come to expect from our videos here at Arcade Hunter. Zookeeper. And the competition has been absolutely insane on this game. Now, this is not on, unfortunately. A lot of people may know that the, the little pictures on the wall are gone. Well, this has replaced it, and uh, once they uh, put it on later today, I'm gonna get a video of it in action. Really cool. Stuff the guys got going. We got our Williams row here, Sinistar. Yes, that is the Sinistar that Will Wheaton played at PAX East 2010. Big ups to Will, keeping the uh, classics alive. Tuning Kong, Kroll, Juno first. Yes, Crazy Kong, it does work at Fun Spot. There it is, shut up. Sea Wolf, Jump Bug. 43. Here's the stand-up version of Space Zap. I love this game. A lot of fun. Time Pilot. Leedies. Phoenix and Cloak and Dagger. And over here we got Pole Position 2. The TX1. Really hard game to get working. Here's Woodpecker. Star Castle. Space Invaders. Crowdy Champ. Jairus, Load Runner, First Contra, and it's back. Alien Syndrome is back, baby. Oh, it's. Hey, hey, you can't have that drink. That's fine. Right. Heavy Barrel, Hango. We have to get down the Nintendo Row because I know what you kids like to see. Clowns. I guess they have the Donkey Kong 3. They've got Donkey Kong 2, and yes, this is the King of Kong, Donkey Kong, there it is. Very, very nice. And yes, it does work. Donkey Kong Jr., 
Dr. Mario versus Golf, Popeye versus Super Mario Brothers. It's play choice and the punch out, unfortunately, the screen still needs some work, but they'll fix it. They're fun spot. This, unfortunately, it is working. It's fine, but it's just getting some errors with the uh, with the board. Astron Belt. Yes, us versus them. You know when you're in the uh, laser disc roll because it gets really loud. And here's uh, Mach 3 and Cobra Command. They just got this uh, running just very recently. Really nice game. And you can hear them. You know it's the Dragon's Lair. Shoutouts to Don Blue. Make another game. In our Pac-Man row, we got Miss Pac-Man. Two for the masses. We got exciting and new Pac-Man Plus. And the perfect Pac-Man that Billy Mitchell scored the world's first recorded perfect game on. And we have Junior and Super. And then finally I'll come down here to the last middle row. Sorry, it's very hard to show off the entire third floor in less than 10 minutes, which I usually like to limit our videos on. It's Kicker, Konami, Bosconian, some Frenzy, both Zaxxon, Super and Regular, Kickman, wow, Drive Master. Haven't seen this in a long time. Domino Man, Lazarian, Blueprint, Timber and Tapper. Quartet, I don't know why they put it over here. Hopefully they'll move it. Ghosts and Goblins, Daimakamura. And of course, we'll end up with Tron. Fortunately, it's got a little graphical issues, but hopefully they'll fix it. So, once again, this is the walkthrough for the third level, the classic arcade museum here at Fun Spot. We're here bright and early, and we will see you this morning and this weekend at Fun Spot. So, for everybody here at Arcade Hunters, I'm Nick. Thank you for watching.